I think a lot of us are aware that Counter-Strike 2 isn't really in its best state right now. Like, we don't even have all the basic game modes and maps from CSGO, let alone a working anti-cheat, new content, and so much more. But it turns out on top of all of this, if you have one of those newer CPUs with both efficiency and performance scores, CS2 isn't optimized yet to take advantage of all the performance ones. In fact, same goes for other CPUs that just have one type of core. Counter-Strike just won't use all of them. You can see evidence of this in-game by first going to your settings, enabling your developer console, opening it, and typing in SYS underscore info. Scrolling to the top will show you your CPU info, and right here you can see the number of physical cores and then threads which will be one less. It's a little confusing, but I guess threads references these cores being used. And forcing that threads number to be the same as your amount of performance cores or amount of cores total for other CPUs will give a decent FPS increase, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can do this. Before I do, let me get a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Skins Monkey, who's giving away hella free skins throughout this Christmas. Everyone can claim at least one free gift a day here, and that's on top top of another possible free skin here. Like I got this $7 sawed off for example. Keep in mind every $10 of value you trade on the site will give you another free prize. And if you do decide to trade or maybe upgrade some of your skins, use code KSGAMING to get a free $5 towards your first trade. It will also give you an even bigger deposit bonus if you're looking to put in some money as well. Check everything out now with my link in the description below. All right, with that all out of the way, let me just say right now for the people who don't want the longer explanation of this, I do have a quick version of this tutorial posted on shorts and on my TikTok, so you can go check that out if you want, but I saw people getting confused in the comments, which is why I am making this video too. Anyways, I discovered this Reddit thread the other day thanks to my homie Thor over on Twitter, and you can see it caught my eye because this is claiming that you could boost your performance by 20 to 25%. I wish I could explain this fully, fully in detail, but this guy kind of says it right here. It's evident that not only are e-cores broken for CS2, but hyper threading and SMT as well. Basically, the way CS2 utilizes your CPU isn't nearly as refined as Counter-Strike Go, for example. And I mean, yeah, CS2 does have a pretty big graphics improvement, so it's definitely using a lot more of your GPU than only your CPU. But at the same time, your CPU still needs to be offering the game as much power as possible, because at the end of the day, it will help communicate with the GPU faster and everything. I'm sure some people are going to be doubting that, because, you know, how, how does a game franchise this big mess something like that up? But if you do come into your game and open your console, like I was saying in the intro, typing in SYS underscore info and pressing enter is going to bring up this massive load of information. If you simply scroll up to the top and then go down just a little bit, you'll see your CPU cores right here. And then two lines below that, you'll see your engine thread pool right here. I personally have a 12th gen i9. So I have 16 cores as this says right here and then 24 threads. This engine thread pool number though seems to represent the number of cores, these, this number of cores that the game's actually using. So I'm only using 15 out of the 16 possible. Now keep in mind, I have eight performance cores and eight efficiency cores, making this 16 total. So there's technically two things I can do here and you'll have to test this out for yourself and see which is going to give you the most FPS if you have one of these newer CPUs. But for my case, I could either force the game to use only the eight performance cores or I could force the game to use all 16 of the cores total. This part's done through a startup command. So before we do that, you have to exit out of your console and close out of Counter-Strike first. And once it closes all the way, go to your Steam library where Counter-Strike 2 is, hover over it and then right click on it and click properties. That's going to open up this window. And once you click the general tab and scroll down here to the bottom, you're going to see this advanced users may choose to enter modifications to their launch options. This box right here is basically where you can type in different startup commands that the game will execute every single time it boots up. Some of you guys might have stuff in here. I personally don't have anything right now, but to force this thread count, you're basically going to type dash threads and then your number of cores you want to use plus one. Like I said, I could either force my eight performance cores or I could force all 16 of my cores. If I want to force the eight performance ones, you would type that number of cores after threads and then plus one. So for me, this would be nine for the eight performance cores. If I was going to do all 16 of them, I would type in 17 because that would be 16 plus one. You have to plus one pretty much any number you put in here. I'm going to do plus 17 because I personally like to take advantage of all the power my CPU can possibly give me. But once you type in this command and then that number that works for you, all you got to do is exit out of this and then reboot your game. You should be all good to go. Don't forget, you can make sure this is working properly by once again opening your console and typing in SYS underscore info. Executing this once more is going to update all of these numbers. And if we go back to the CPU numbers, you'll see right here, 16 cores being detected, 16 cores being used. That's exactly what this should look like, at least for me, if I want to use all 16 of mine. Keep in mind, if I was forcing only the performance cores, this 16 right here would say eight. It's very, very important that you set that number according to whatever CPU and amount of cores you have. So don't accidentally take my numbers and use those if you don't have a 12th an i9 intel cpu anyways if you did make it this far in the video definitely make sure you guys drop a like and of course subscribe if you're new and if you do have any questions or comments feel free to drop them in the comment section or hit me up on my discord server that's linked in the description as well and uh yeah other than that now whatever video is showing on the screen the youtube algorithm thinks you might like so do me a favor and go check it out